Hey guys, welcome back to Max TV Regional. Uh, this is a quick video on the Altec um, PC410 uh, PID controller. So this is the one that I bought off eBay and there was no problem. I've left a good feedback. I've turned it on. It, it seemed fine and everything until I figured out later on that it is a fake one. So how you can spot that it's a fake before you buy. So if you look on the back here, you just got the white uh, sticker saying PC900, PC410, PC400. The original would just say PC900 and the sticker will be black. It wouldn't be white like that or silverish. It'll be black sticker with the white writing and the back will have a white sticker with the specs on it, saying that 240 and all that stuff. This one doesn't have anything. Another way uh, why there's a, such a big difference between the fake one and the real one is that when you turn it on, so it says 900, all working. Uh, the menu is a lot of items of the menu are missing. So let's have a look to the menu here. There's the three types of controllers, but they all uh, run the same operating system or firmware. So this is the basic menu. To get into the menu, you press PI and hold it down for three seconds. And then first thing in the menu is the program, which says it's idle. It's uh, first one supposed to be uh, Celsius or Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit on the menu. Well, it's not. The next one is tune. That's the auto tune. And that's number four on the menu. The next one is uh, prop. So that would be, where is it? That's number nine on the menu, proportional band. Uh, so that's uh, PID. They go on the row. HCT, which is number 14 on the menu, and that's number six on that controller. The next one is lock, which is uh, 808 is a uh, lock. So that code, a password, will give you access to the whole menus, which is supposed to be doing now. If you change that to any other value to other than 808, it'll lock you out from most of the menu, but <laughs> there is not much to the menu. Next, we've got um, SVH, which continues on the other menu that's supposed to be there, but it's not. Then we got SPL, HPL, SNBP, and offset. Uh, then we got the Celsius Fahrenheit, and then the address for the um, COM port and the uh, connection rate. That's it. There's nothing else. However, in the real device, there's all those menus for your alarms. There's also, which is a mandatory menu that you should have, but they don't have it, is your SN, which is input signal, where you can select the thermocouple that you're connecting to the device. In this case, this one is preset to K-type only, and you cannot change it. So if you have any other thermocouple, you'll plug it in, it's not gonna work. Uh, the other thing with the buttons, so just to clarify, so that's how you know it's a fake device. With the buttons, uh, you can start it from here, but you can't stop it. So unless you have external buttons like this, you can't stop the device. So the stop button is just a normal uh, push button. Run and hold, uh, you can start it from here, but run and hold on the button is the uh, latchable. So when I press run and hold, you'll notice the run will light up and you see it's solidly lit. Let me just turn the light off, just to help you see. As you can see, that run button is all the lid. Now, if I depress it, it will pause the process. So at the moment, it's um, trying to heat up. So if I depress it, see the run button starting to flicker? That means that it's holding. If I press the run button again, it st stays steady. So that means the process continues on. So this is literally like a pause. You can't do any of this from here. And um, again, to stop the button, you press and stop. And once again, when you press the first pass set and uh, hold it down, the first item is program. That's telling you what it's currently doing. So it says idle. If I start the process, let's get out of the menu. If I run the program, so now it's running. And if we get into that menu again, it says run, so it's running. And now I'll put it on hold and get out of the menu. 
So I've just depressed the button and we'll get in and it'll say hold. There we go. So that's it about this controller. In case you're wondering why my uh, PV display is red and SV display is green, I've swapped it around because uh, PV on the other device that I have is red, so it'll match better. And same with LEDs, so all the LEDs I've replaced them to most appropriate colors. So if you're wondering why it's not usual. So yeah, that's that's it for this Altec device. Again, Altec device would be probably um, decent with all those menus. This is not Altec, this is Sham. So it was sold as Altec and I bought it as Altec and I've paid the price same as Altec, but they've sent me Sham, S-H-A-N-M, and it's a fake. So I did contact them and they said they will contact manufacturer and see if they can resend me a real deal. So I don't know about that. So yeah, that's it for tonight. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.